played well, some teams really tough. Um, you know, it was a lot of one and two goal games and, and we just couldn't seem to get over the hump against them. I mean, we played some of the top teams in the country closer than we've ever done since I've been here. Um, I think that's a testament to this team and, and how hard they work. This team's very close. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've ever had teams closer than this year's team. Um, you know, they support each other in and out of the pool. The bus rides are very goofy. Um, you know, it's a fun group and I think that they support each other so much and care about one another so much. It just, when they play together, you can just see that, that, that care for each other and, and they work really well together. So it's, it's been a lot of fun to see this, this team grow and yet get closer. And I didn't think that that could happen throughout the season, but it really did. Uh, this year's senior class is, you know, the first class that I had when I got here were a freshman. We walked onto campus together and to watch them grow, not only as water polo players, but as young women have been, it's been an amazing experience for me. Um, they've taught me so much over the last four years, not only about water polo, but just life and the way they see life with a happy and, and go lucky, you know, style that they have, um, you know, they're going to be missed around here. I and mean, that freshman class was so fun to work with. We talked about them at the beginning and how they, they were sassy and, and all that good stuff. Um, you know, they came in and, and they produced in the pool for us right away. Um, you know, Melissa Balding had a great year, you know, Zoe Osborne, uh, Lexi Del Toro. I mean, it was just, it was amazing to watch them come in and then make their adjustment to playing college water polo and getting comfortable and, and playing here for me. And then, you know, the sky's the limit for them. So it's going to be fun to watch them the next three years. They're going to be a pretty special class. She's only the second one in program history to win that next to Devin Kennifer, who was a three-time All-American here. So. So, you know, I think that's big shoes to fill, but uh, Mel can do it for sure. You know, she, she just battles at two meters. She's a left-handed two-meter player. She's hard to defend. Uh, she makes strong moves and, and she can finish. Um, I'm, it was just amazing to watch her make moves where you just went, wow, did she really just score that goal? <laughs> so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be interesting to see what, what defenses do for her next year uh, and how she makes her adjustment. I mean, it's, it's sophomore year. She's not gonna be surprising anybody next year now that she got that rookie of the year. Um, you know, it's, it's sad to see the group leaving that is leaving, um, but I'm very excited about the future. I'm excited about the core group that is returning, and I'm excited about the freshman class we're bringing in next year. So, you know, hopefully we'll get over those humps next year.